A couple of weeks ago, I made a video going over the most liked Fall Guys maps. The only issue was, at the time, there was no way to search the entire creative database to see which map actually had the most likes. What I did is I simply went to the discovery tab and took the map for each section that had the most likes at the time of the recording, but that wasn't necessarily the map that had the most likes in general. But now, thanks to our friends over at CV2, they have created a way for us to search through all the maps in the game for the ones that have the most likes. If we simply leave our filters open and we go to search, you can see here we have the maps that have the most plays and the most likes. The first couple of maps here are maps that are in the main show so we're going to skip those and what we're going to do is we're going to filter to ensure that we get the maps not in the main solo shows that do have the true most number of likes all right we've added our range and we have searched now here we have it the maps that have the most likes in the game outside of those four that are in the main show we're going to go through these in order and we are going to give them a rating and try to dissect what makes them so great and why they have such a high number of likes i have a big feeling a lot of these maps are probably featured in some other type of show but either way it will give you an idea of what Media Tonic is looking for, especially with the knockout mode coming out at the time of the recording. It's coming out tomorrow in the 10.9 update. It will give you a better idea of what they're probably looking for and what you should be building if you want to have your maps featured yourself. All right, first up, we've got Canyon Sunday by the Legend of Self Top 2 Forever. I mean, Top 2 Forever, if you don't know, it makes an absolute banger maps. And this one, I think it had like 4.6 million plays. It has 248,000 likes and only 80,000 dislikes. Multiple paths to go at the beginning of this game. I'm assuming that one of these paths, either the center or the sides, is a little bit harder than the other is to make it fun for both noobs and also the experienced players and i think that's going to be something in common of all these maps is that there's going to be playability for all players not just players that are skilled at the game and can make the craziest of jumps but also the players that just like to have fun this map actually looks like it might be the harder path even though it's not too hard the theme on this level is great i love the colors and the visuals on this it's not too hard it's very obvious where you need to go and so i think that's the one of the reasons that this map has so many likes is because it's simple to play and it's fun to play. Simple does not have to mean boring. I think that's where people kind of get mixed up. One way that Top 2 really made this map better than I've seen some other people make maps that they thought should be featured is that there's multiple paths for people of different levels. So even if you're bad at the game, you can just go through the easier path. And if you're a bit more experienced, then you can just go to the harder paths. Either way, you can have a lot of fun and a really great level by the legend himself, Top 2 Forever. The second most liked map in the game with 360 70,000 plays and over 94,000 likes is Neon Pipe Run by the one and only Crazy Nick Knack. And I know Crazy Nick Knack very well. I think I've played most of, if not all of her maps. She's always in the streams, always submitting absolute bangers. So it's no surprise that Nick Knack has one of the most liked maps in the game. Now, I, I'm assuming this one got featured. I think it might have been in one of the original, like, solo shuffle, solo chill. I'm not sure exactly which one. But I just remember the, this was the first map where I'm, I think this was right when the stickers came out and we had all these different colors where I, it just blew my mind. But this one doesn't need any analyzing, let's be honest here. And that's another thing. Just because your map looks great, it doesn't mean that it's uh, automatically a feature or anything like that because it needs to be fun and right now this tunnel of like I don't even know tunnel of love I'm gonna call it even though it's just some crazy design is just amazing the design is so much fun uh, being of any skill level can complete it and I think you can probably figure it out on your own why this map has so many likes and is something that I'm guessing media tonic would definitely potentially feature it's also not too long don't forget longer maps have a lower chance of being featured because if you guys are aware they are even reducing the shows down to three rounds so these they want the shows to go a bit faster so it shouldn't be too long my depth perception always is off on these jumps because i cannot see where i'm going but anyways the design of this map goes great the gameplay is simple Maybe if there was one thing that I could nitpick, maybe there could have been a bit more variety in the gameplay. It felt a bit too much running, but at the end of the day, it's meant for an easy play through. So this one's a certified banger by Crazy Nick Knack. It's a phenomenal map. All right, the third most liked map in the game. This is the final map that has over 90,000 likes. 400k plays you see right there. Rainbow Highway by Moji. Okay, this one just feels like a day one creative type map. It seems like something that Media Tonic made themselves in Unity when this, the game first came out. And when I say day one creative map, that doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it feels like it belongs kind of i would say maybe I, I shouldn't say the day one creative map maybe it feels just more like a season one literally legacy season one map and i think that's really cool this is a very simple map i got finessed by this bean barrier i'm one of those beans that just keeps running into it you know on gate crash those beans that go from door to door and each time they go from the the closed door to the open one the open door immediately closes on okay so it's a very short level okay the reason this one has so many likes is because it literally feels like it could have been a, a released with the game when it first came out back in 2020 i had one critique it's a little bit short i also i didn't even notice this also look at the attention to detail okay i'm trying to show them the attention to detail with those little support beams over there so i love and 
map creators just go all out on their maps and don't take any shortcuts. You can tell that there was a lot of love put into this one by Moji, and that's why it has over 90,000 likes. And this one is once again a certified banger. Maybe a little bit too short, but I thoroughly enjoyed it either way. All right, map number four, Blunder City Marathon. You're invited to the annual Blunder City race by Scrumply Jester, 360,000 plays. And this one has 84,000 likes, and okay. This map has got some really cool designs. I'm really curious to see when these are made, because I'm assuming if they have a lot of likes, that, it doesn't mean that they were made early because I would obviously the like feature only came out recently and also I would also suggest that the maps that have been featured more recently are in shows that have only come out in the last little while but this one's got a kind of like a blocky feel to it very cool I, I, I don't know if we're gonna end up on that side there but if not that's a really good use of decorations I think the reason that this map is probably has so many likes is just it just has a very good visual theme and I think that's gonna be the most common thing between all of these maps I, I honestly I'm I'm a little bit surprised because I thought that we would see a couple of maps that had very, very unique gameplay and the ones that were liked a lot. But I think at the end of the day, when you have so many people voting on these maps, if it's simple and it looks good, that's what's gonna get it a lot of likes. Now, there is a difference between a map getting a lot of likes and a map being featured because I don't know if this one could be featured because it's just too simple. I don't think it really rewards uh, the beans for being skilled at the game. And I think that once again, as what I said, just because it's a beautiful level doesn't mean it's going to be featured, doesn't mean it has the most exciting gameplay. And so I think this one looks great, definitely would knock some points on the gameplay itself, but I don't think that's what the map creator was going for. So I still call it a certified banger. I'm not sure if they wanted to add more features to it, but it's still a great map. And rounding out our top five is Sea Humans Pass Passage with 350,000 plays and 83,000 likes. And I've actually played this map before. I must admit that I played this map before and the theming on it goes absolutely off the charts. I mean, the floating castle in the sky vibes. You'll see that they also did a really good job similar to that last map I was showing you with the support beam. So they did not stop uh, editing their map once the gameplay was done. They spent lots of time just adding the very little details. This one has a little bit more gameplay than the last map that we played. I wouldn't say that the gameplay on this one is revolutionary. I think at the end of the day, though, a lot of maps that I've noticed, at least in creative, until this new update comes out tomorrow, which I'm very excited for. Let me know, by the way. Drop a like if you're excited for the update tomorrow. If I somehow edit this video and get it before the update comes out, I don't know if I will. But what I was trying to say is that everything is very static. They're going to add dynamic pieces, which is going to let maps feel different from one another. But right now, at this point in creative, a lot of the maps feel similar to one another. And so at the end of the day, it comes down to that design. So as long as you have a decent gameplay, it's really about the design of the map, the way that it flows, the way that it feels, how difficult it is, how fun it is, and how obvious is it on what you need to do. That's a big issue. Sometimes the map looks great, but I have no clue where I'm supposed to go, and that takes away. This is a certified banger, a little bit short. This would be like a round one of the new Knockout Show. Great job. Bye. See human. All right, we're going to do two more here. We've got Sandcastle Kingdom with 335,000 plays and 78,000 likes. This one is by Rina Venga, and this one, once again, has an unbelievable theme to it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. For a second, I literally thought that this ball right here was just a, like an actual object you could drop in the game. I didn't realize they actually built this beach ball. That's unbelievable. This map looks amazing. Oh, my God. Is there, <gasps> there's literally volleyball on this map. Okay, well, I don't know who's stopping to play volleyball in the middle of a race. Only, only the absolute sweats that they know they'll qualify anyways. I mean, if this is a first round, then honestly, you probably have like 30 seconds to play volleyball before you really need to start running. Use the uh, the budget on the basketball, but it is what it is. Hopefully, they had enough budget to finish their map. Okay. Oh, are we going into the water? No shot. Ooh, that was a little fun little added. But no, okay, I really like that little fun little kind of gimmick almost. That's a cute little gimmick that really differentiates itself. It's small little things like that. By the way, these sand castles look phenomenal. The flags on top. I would say the one issue I'm already noticing on this map, and it's something small, is that while drawbridges are great and they look great sometimes they're a bit they it's like on on uh, fall mountain when you are at the top of the map first you're about to grab the crown can i just skip it oh you can it's when you're about to grab the crown but it's on its bad like levitation to the point where you got there first but then it's up in the air and so people can catch up to you so i think that's a small and it's always going to be an issue with drawbridges especially when they're just on a on a timer where they're they stop for a couple seconds and that you might have gotten to this place first, but then somebody else is able to catch up, even though they might have had a slightly worse run, and then you end up losing. It's a small issue, but I still think it was a great map. Multiple paths to go. Very simple. Amazing theme, and that's why it has 78,000 likes. And finally, we've got Groovin' Banana Temple by Goose Ling. I've played many of Goose Ling's maps. He always makes phenomenal maps. This one has slightly less plays, but still a lot of likes. 237,000 plays and 71,000 likes. So this one has a great like ratio. It only has about 8,800 dislikes as well. And by the way, a little bit of a spoiler. I'm sure, as you could probably have guessed, if I made a video about the most like maps, I will be making a video on the most dislikes maps. Um, I'll be able to
able to find the maps that actually have the most dislikes, and I'm very excited to play those. I'm so excited. It might make me an absolute savage, and absolutely might me. I might be like absolutely demented in the head to want to like play the worst maps that people hate. <laughs> but I'm excited to see why people have been disliking these maps. By the way, this map design-wise is absolutely bonkers. Bruh. It's absolutely bonkers. Look, I just like I got bonked on my head. What was that? You know what I've noticed? Also, I just realized this as I respawn. I think that's the first time or second time I've respawned on one of these maps, which probably gives you an idea of how easy some of these maps are for a seasoned professional like me. Of course, I'm not. I'm gonna. Is this a barrel from Monkey? No, 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 no. no. I said Monkey Kong. I mean, is this a barrel from Donkey Kong? No, 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 there's no shot. Yo, this is sick. Okay, I hope the fan glitch doesn't mess me up there. We'll do a 360 dive. That's not really a 360. That was more of a wiggle woggle. I'm like the wiggles. You know what I'm saying? I have no clue what I'm saying. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that I haven't died that much. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. I am pretty good at this game if I'm going to toot my own horn. I think it's a, they're a little bit too easy, though, because I think even on, like, the Whirly Gig, I'll die sometimes. Maybe on Dizzy, I'll... F nah, honestly, I'm not falling on Dizzy. Low-key, I'm not falling on Dizzy. I, I lied to myself. But anyway, it gives you an idea that for a seasoned professional, <laughs> these maps are extraordinarily easy. I mean, I'm talking about... Okay, I literally died twice. Like, I died once and I messed that jump up, so I can't say it's that easy. This was one of my favorite maps that I played, by the way. The theming was amazing. Took a little bit of skill, had unique moments. I don't know why some of the other ones might have more plays or more likes, but I think this might have been one of my favorite maps we played on today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below on why these maps are rated the way that they are. Is it just because they got featured early and they got lucky, or do they, are they deserving of their place in the top seven most like maps in Fall Guys? And do you think that they're going to be dethroned with the new update? It's coming up tomorrow. I'm going to try to edit this video tonight to get it out because I'm going to have a lot of content coming out once the update comes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be streaming bright and early when the new update comes out. I'd usually say be kind of one another, but that's Ellen's thing, and I'll get canceled, and I'm not trying to get canceled. Are you out of your mind? So I'm going to leave you with one thing and one thing only. Don't be mean. Peace. Peace.